Seen the uh, TMA on the down leg yet? Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Okay, just took a little time. And again, they turn on and off the valve for coming out again to, to make individual clouds, so you can watch those clouds move around. So, so it looks like uh, uh, we've had two successful TMA releases, and it looks like uh, I've been hearing some noise from the science room back there that. Uh, they confirmed that they did get the release of the water. So, so they're um, going to be watching this for the next hour and a half. So the, the plan is to have the cameras uh, ob observing this for um, the next hour and a half. And as uh, the moonlight, the moonlight is on the water cloud now, and as the sun comes up, we should be able to see more. So they've, in the other room, they've actually got some infrared cameras that should be able to see the water a little bit better than we can see with this camera here and some other uh, more uh, sensitive cameras than we have as well. So we'll be looking at the, at the water cloud that was formed. So quite, a, quite an uh, exciting night uh, here at Poker Flat. We've had uh, three launches in about 45 minutes. <laughs> this is a uh, three-for-one sale here at Poker Flat. <laughs> Now we're looking at the all sky camera and that uh, that big halo cloud you're seeing sort of off to the north now. And now back to the sort of narrow field camera. Now you can see not only does that uh, do those clouds move around, you can also see they become kind of turbulent. And again, that's that's part of what they're looking at uh, with this uh, mission is to look at that, understand that sort of transition from a very smooth cloud up on the top to this sort of turbulent cloud on the bottom. So this, this whole region of the middle atmosphere, many things change. You go from this very, very sort of smooth laminar flow up top to sort of a more um, uh, turbulent, sort of chaotic flow a little bit further down. So if you happen to be here in Fairbanks, um, it's not a UFO outside. That is, uh, <laughs> That's a uh, chemical release called trimethyl aluminum. Um, it's uh, very benign, uh, but it's a nice way for us to observe a range, range of the altitude, or excuse me, altitude range of the atmosphere that's very hard to measure otherwise. Uh, you can't take a balloon that high up, and you, uh, the only way you can really get to it is to have a rocket release uh, this chemical on the way through. And for those that are local, you said as the sun comes up, there's a possibility they might be able to see the cloud itself. They might be able to see the cloud. It would probably help if you had a, a nice camera that could that could uh, observe the, uh, the, take pictures, sort of time-lapse mm -hmm. pictures or long exposure to pictures mm -hmm. of, the, of the cloud. Um, probably a better chance if you're not in town. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want, want to be, you know, sort of like when you go to watch the Aurora, you probably want to <laughs> be away from light pollution and have a nice camera that can see that. So. So I think uh, we've we've had uh, three successful launches here. Mm -hmm. It sounds like uh, uh, all the, all at least uh, the initial uh, requirements were met. So it looks like a <laughs> very successful e evening, uh, or morning <laughs> in this case. <laughs> um, so I think we'll we'll leave uh, some of these images up here. But I think uh, I think we may sign off now and um, let you enjoy the rest of the day. We have ice. Uh, looks like we have a successful launch. Thanks again for all your hard work. That's good news. Thank you.
Snyder, this is OC. Go ahead. I just want to confirm that we do have cloud echoes in the LIDAR data, so we have success there too, as well as the visible cloud. Over. Very good, thank you.